and swim back to the top. It's quite weird. It only happens a split second that the lighter makes contact with the cards. If you watch, you'll see it. It's very, very late. And some people think it doesn't really go into the pack or switched. You can see the cards there. And it was somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. And you can see it's not in my hands. It's not the top card already because that would be cheating. It's not the bottom card either. Okay. It's there. And it's only the split second. Sometimes you see it happening. When I like, you see it jump straight up and make contact with it. It's quite weird. <laughs> now, this time, I'm actually going to let you see the split second that happens. Because this time, I'm not going to place it all the way in. I'm going to leave the tail end of the card sticking out so you can follow it as it jumps. You see, just the tail end will be sticking out so you can see it. And uh, I'm actually going to use the top card as well, the top card being the four of uh, spades. I'm going to push it into the four of spades so that I've only got two fingers on the pack. Just pushing very gently. But if I push too hard, it jumps over here. Me Which is a bit strange. Me That's why you should be playing cards with strangers. But this time... Me I'm going to put some money on it this time. Take the card, place it very, very fairly. Get the middle of the pack and then jump for it again. Square it in. Stay. Stay. Perfect. <laughs> Cover it over. Snap. And. Well, I did say I was going to put some money on it. Here's the weird thing it would be a pretty good trick if it jumped to the top of the deck. It would be a better trick. If it could jump inside my wallet, you see that inside my wallet there's a zipped compartment. If it unzips the wallet, you see that inside the zipped compartment is another wallet. Inside this wallet is a playing card. You now it would be pretty good, and I think it would deserve a round of applause if this actually was your playing card. Do you want to open that up? <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Very good, boy. Thank you. Perfect. Now, um, I've showed you a few ways that you can use a lighter, you know, to, to kind of cheat at a game of cards. There is another way, and I'm going to show you that uh, just now, it's quite cool. And I've got a lighter off here. You see that uh, inside this lighter, I stash a playing card. But the weird thing with this playing card, I can the cards, is if it won't up, has your signature on it. And that's a bit weird. Thank you very much, Margaret, for helping me out. I hope you all enjoyed that case. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> it's a bit strange. Is that the first time you've seen this kind of thing? I've before. It's quite weird. You've seen it before. There's another magician going around who's better than me. <laughs> he doesn't drop his stuff in, in the wine glasses. <laughs> so that's my wee introduction. That's, that's uh, quite, quite weird. I'm going to place this back in here. I'm going to show you another thing before I move on. Actually, Denny's have a, any, this might not have been a wedding, but Denny's have some spare change that I can borrow, like a 10 pence coin, a 2 pence coin, something like that, something small. The boys have got money in the front of the thing. Um, He'll give them a 10 pence or something? I prefer a 10 to ready, I might have some. Thank you. Has anyone got a 10? I've got a 10 if you don't. I, I prefer to use somebody else's money because people think it's perfect. That's perfect. We'll use that one. Nobody trusts my money. First of all, put your initials on the, on the coin. Yeah, that's cool. Although it does come off, it's just to prove that it's not like a, another coin that's got the same date and everything. Just close to that. And what we need to do is I'm sure we're not desperate. Can I can I ask you hold on to the ten pins? Can you feel it through there? Hold on, don't let it drop. Can you hold your other hand flat? I've got this as well. 
seconds and now when I snap my fingers in every single card in the pack is there. I know you don't believe me. It's alright, it's okay, hold your hand flat. And now every single card in the whole pack, there's all the faces, there's all the backs, they're all there. Every last one, you can see that. And with a little shake, they all go back to being blank on both sides, every single one. That's the end of the trick, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Thank you very much. It's just... You want some cheese, Maureen? Goat's cheese. I don't have another one. That's a stroke of, stroke of bad luck, that is. Crazy, is it all from I don't know what it was like before, I think that was the Thanks very much, cheers. Gonna have to find a radio. <laughs> I can't believe you dropped that book, didn't I? Look, I, well, at the end of the day, you just got to roll with it and, you know... Uh, I think that's it.
Yeah. I'm alright, mate. Right, so you've got nine mix, but remember the number? I think that's what you're doing. You think that was luck? Maybe? No, you try it. Right, and just kind of let me see and just put that over here for me. Can't be locked twice. I'll show you another. You can see that really rip roaring trick there. You want to know it? It will cost you. I've got my wee cage here. I've got my pen here. So here, you take that. I'll take these. And the cards are. If anybody wants to shuffle them, just let them go back. I usually make sure that I've pretty well shuffled up. So anytime you want, just cry stop. Take that card and then let me see it. And sign it on this side. Big. Yeah, no, we 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 Amazing, I mean, people think. Even after all that shuffling and cutting, hopefully the card isn't on top of the deck. It's a five of diamonds, alright? So I'm going to take the five of diamonds. I'm going to place it in the cage of Hud sitting here and fill you the full time. Right? Five of diamonds. Right? Now, what, for the first time, what was the name of your card? Eight of spades. Eight of spades. Watch the five of diamonds. It changes straight out to the eight of spades. Somebody else said that one earlier. Yeah, I know, I just noticed that. And you see the five of diamonds is back. You can applaud if you want. <laughs> you can edit that, you can applaud if you want. It has some cheers on it. I'll show you the, what I call the fastest card trick in the world. I didn't use a deck for us. I use these four cards here. I know there's one missing, so I can't do that one. And I've lost the cap. Keep leaving things at different tables. Look at that. Ah, see? Keep leaving things at different tables. I just had a couple of people standing there. Ah, I do anyway. Why not? Yeah, 
cards and you can't drop that card in the corner of the right? And what I do is I just place the cards on your hand like this, and here's when I use the light bulb. When the light makes contact with the cards, you'll see a card jump straight away through all the cards and jump straight back to the top of the pack. It's going to be the first time I've done that, you'll be a fraud either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but some people think the cards, you know, doesn't really go into the middle of the deck. They think it's somehow switched or something like that. Sam, you've got the best view here, right? You can see it's not a big card. You can see that very fairly. The card goes somewhere, you don't need that. Somewhere in the middle of the pack. Square it in. So the top gun already, that would cheat. Place it in. Blank your miss it. See it jump straight away through all the other cards. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. This thing, can I get you to hold on to the light for a second? I'll come back to it. This thing, I'm actually going to let you see the split setting that happens. Because this thing, I'm not going to place the card all the way in. I'm going to leave the tail end of the card so you can follow it as it jumps. You don't see the tail end of the card? Okay. I'm also going to use the, the current top card as well. The top card being the five of spades, I'm going to use the five of spades to push it in with so that I only have two fingers touching the whole pack at the one time. Very fair. Pushing. But if you push too hard, it jumps over here, which is a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> now, this thing, I'm going to put some money on it. Give me two seconds there, I'll grab my wallet. Can you hold on the cards? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> now, I've showed you a couple of ways that you can use a light to cheat a game of cards. There is, there is one other way you can use a light to cheat a game of cards. You can use it to store like an extra card. You can use it like a storage object. So you can bring in extra cards into the game with poker. Now you've got the lighter and you've had the lighter on you the whole time. You'll see that inside this thing I've got an extra playing card. So that the camera sees it. Okay. Can you hold the rest of the cards? The thing is, if I, if I take this out, what you could do is you could bring in some extra aces into the pack or whatever it is, and then bring them into your game. The weird thing about this card, though, is it has your signature on it. And, uh, that's why you should be playing cards with strangers. Thank you very much, Sam, for helping me out. Thank you, cheers. You want to give us it? Oh, thank you very much, cheers. Am I keeping this? You can indeed. It's a very expensive souvenir. <laughs> So that's, that's my, wee, my wee introduction. I'm going to try something else. Can you help me, sir? What's your name? Gordon. I'm going to try something else, Gordon. I'm going to remove four cards. It just so happy to be there together. Now, um, this is quite weird because a lot of magicians do this particular routine for other magicians, and it's never shown on television, it's never talked about because they think that the people that aren't magicians don't appreciate it. It's actually that really cool. You're going to like this, it's really cool. It does look like trick photography. Uh, can you check these out make sure that they are there? There's no tap doors, no super machines, they don't come apart or anything like that. Cool. Just the four aces and nothing else. Do any of you know what the most important ace in the pack is? Ace of spades, well done. <laughs> That's good. Now, do any of you know what that is? No. Well, they, 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 they kind of call the ace of spades the brand card. And I use bicycle playing cards. You see, they always put the brand or the logo of the card on here. Because of the print on the card, it's actually the hardest card to do this particular routine with. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to leave it to last. You see what I mean? Um, anyway, if I give the cards a little shape like that, you see one of the cards turns over. Nobody believes in me. You'll see the ace of hearts just facing up the direction. Watch the ace of hearts. I'll cover it over. Fair as you like. I want two fingers on the back. I give a little shake. This house comes back. <laughs> I give it another little shake. Another card flips over and takes its place. You didn't believe me, but you see that this thing makes the clubs is the one that's facing the opposite way. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Then you've checked these out. You've seen that they're not double back cards. You know, or anything like that. There's no trap 
those no smoke machines, no mirrors. It's the same way. The blinking, you'll miss it. <laughs> Piece of diamonds turns over all its own. Now this time I'm going to put the Ace of Spades like I'm going to place all the aces facing the same direction so you can see all the one, two, three, four aces are facing the same direction before we spin again. Can you place your hand flat for me? Okay, spin up the cards and we place them on your hand. In a minute you're going to feel something that's quite weird but uh, I'm going to try and do this quite quick. Once, twice. Do you feel anything? In your hand, the last eight stands over. That's the end of the routine. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. So, 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 <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit weird. I, I'm going to, I, I do, I'm going to show you this. Well, actually, I'm going to try this. I'm looking. Actually, they need to have like a, like a uh, coins I can borrow, like a 10 pence, 2 pence. I've got my own, but nobody's just my money and they think they use 10 pence is absolutely ideal. Can I get you to put your initials on the coin? Also remember the date if you can. Yeah, it's, it's just in case people think I switch coins and all that. But I do such a thing. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Can you show the camera there? Coin? The reason I need to sign it is although it does, it does come up a bit, but I want you to see that there's only one point like that. And all you can do this is your point. All you can do is you grab hold of the coin.
try something I've not done for a long time. So I just basically took it out, covered it as it was coming out, and opened it up and just took it out for the thing. So the cartridge wallet routine didn't really go as planned, but uh, in any case it made no difference, I just improvised out of it. I like the fact though, every time you notice the camera's on, you dare double take of the camera. Can. <laughs> so, uh, I've not got any. Yeah, we're fine. I was just saying you were doing your bit of magician stuff. Have you been watching? Willie, you've got to put 20 quid in there. Oh, 20, eh? But you might never get it back. <laughs> <laughs> have you got any? Have you already before? No, not yet. I'm, I'm going under the room now. I'm just going to set it up. You're setting up what's happening? Oh, no, it's not real. Oh, right, it's not real. <laughs> so what's I have in the to... pocket? I oh, know. It's not a spare hand. No, I get that all the time, and it's, it's uh, rabbits and bats. And uh, can you make my wife just a 
feet. I get that all the time. Yeah, uh, all that's a good one. Do. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll, I'll show you a couple of things. Uh, yes. What's your name? Karen. Karen, can I get you some more? Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Karen, you're going to be good at this, so... Am I going to be good? Do your own card. Well, that's what I'm going oh, to right, do. Okay. Your signature on the middle of the card. Right. Okay. And meanwhile, I'm going to go and make the cards. That's perfect. I've done that before. So, in any case, in any case, I want you to see that all the cards are different. There's no trap doors, no smoke machines. No, no trap doors, no trap doors. And the reason I don't need to sign the card card is because it prevents me from. To, to, actually, to do this, this trick where two cards that are the same would be really, really easy. Right. So, and you know that it's, ink doesn't come off or anything like that. No. There's only one card like that in the whole world. Yeah. So, yeah. so anyway, can <laughs> you see the card? Can you see that? That's fine. Can you, Tommy, okay. come and see this. That's fine. What is so, this? In, in any case, can you, just what happens, Karen. Can I get you to hold your hands flat for me like a table? Perfect. What I do is, is I take your card and I'm just going to place it, it doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere near the middle of the pack. Very good. Square it in and I place it on your hands like that. Perfect. Yeah. Shoulder. Don't drop them. No. Now here's what happens is I just cast a shadow over the cards for a split second. I go yeah. once, twice, snap. And the weird thing happens, that card rises right back to the top of the pack. Ooh. It's a bit weird. Yeah. Brilliant. It's very strange. That is brilliant. <laughs> now, some people you think... Yeah, some yeah. Some people think really <laughs> They think it doesn't really go into the end of the deck. They think it somehow switched so that the camera's got the best view here. Yes. You can see the card is legitimately, there's no switch. It's no. not a double card or anything like that. No. And it's going somewhere in the middle of the pack. Uh -huh. Very good. I want to point out that it's not in my hands, it's not on my sleeve, and most importantly, it's not the top card already because that would be cheating. Okay? Yes. That's everybody's first thought. First thought. Can you hold your hand flat? Perfect. Perfect. Cast the shadow once, twice. Woo! And this time I want you to turn it over. Huh? Back here. Oh. And straight back to the top of the deck. It's quite weird. Brilliant. <laughs> That is amazing, Tommy. You're a plan. She's seen five of them before. You met before. Now this time... Well done. It gets worse, it gets worse. This time, I'm actually going to let you see the split second that happens. Yes. Because this time, I'm not going to place it all the way in. I'm going to leave the tail end of the card sticking out so you can follow it as it follow jumps to the top, of the, right. the top of the pack. Yes. I'm going to use the top card as well. Right. That card being the ace of spades, I'm going to push it okay. into the ace of spades. So I've only got two fingers on the pack. Brilliant. Oh, it's in the middle. But if you push too hard, it jumps over here. Oh, and, uh, God, really? <laughs> that's where you should play cards with strangers. Fantastic. <laughs> I've got you in my wallet. And, uh, I'm gonna, can Do you, you want me to hold your wallet? Yeah, well, I'll look after it. No, right. This time, I'm going to place it in, nice and feeling. Yeah. And here's the weird bit. I start the wallet with the cards. Right. It doesn't just rise through the deck, but you see that inside my wallet there's a zip compartment. Yes. Inside the zip compartment, there's another wallet. Oh. Inside this wallet, there's a playing card. Oh my God, Willie, <laughs> is it mine? It would be a bloody good trick if it was. Do you want Can to I see? Check that out. Take it out. <laughs> oh my god! That's amazing. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Goes to the camera. Thank <laughs> goodness. Thank you very much. Thank you, cheers. And, Brilliant. And I get you to you keep a hold of that. Oh, just thank you. you. It's an expensive Don't lose souvenir. It. <laughs> <laughs> really? It is indeed. Oh, right. All right. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Oh, Brian, thank you very much, Ross. <laughs> I think that's a sweat night. I mean, thank there's something missing to him. It's usually good room. But the thing is, I've not met him. He hasn't arrived yet. There are um, yeah, the rooms and stuff, but they have a list of people. Oh, oh that, that's good. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Cool. I, I understand it's, it's running a bit late. Is it, is it going to go on a wee bit? Or yeah. How's it? Is, are they I think the meal we're going through at about five, so I think it might be time to two hours. Uh, was kind of like having five minutes. Uh, was it, uh, I'm going to be two till four, but it was delayed, so take away. It's just fine. It's a lot of fun. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, 
Hvorfor er det ikke så veldig rundt til kamera? Det er det etter butikken. Det er alltid godt. Hva er vi fint? Hva er vi? Enjoy yourself. I'm not getting any testimonials yet though, but I'll wait for a wee bit later when everybody's here. I was going to get that last week, I had one, but... I don't think it'll be... I don't think it'll be... I don't think it'll be... They'll look at it outside, John. They're still not a 5-2 sort of thing. I'm used to opening with the with the match box routine, and because I'm not not don't have that, it's kind of weird going in a card routine. So I think I'm going to have to do some you know different for a, for an opener. Uh, so I'm going to change my opener to probably uh, probably diminishing aces a little bit count just because it's quite visual, but I've been doing Ambitious Card quite a bit so far. Uh, I'm just going to set this up for Diminishing Aces. So I'll try that as my opener in the next group. So let's go and find people. Have a lot of fun. Uh, find people sitting down. and doing at the back, uh, which is probably the main idea. is going to tell me the colour of your card, whether it be a red card or a black card. I don't give anything away, but I believe that your card is a black card. I'm right, it's a black card. The next card down for here is going to tell me whether it be a spade uh, or a club, and it tells me your card is a spade. The next one down for here tells me that your card is a jack, and the last one here tells me your card is a jack of spades. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. <laughs> now, I, I, I know what he's are thinking. He's are thinking of cheating you four of the same card. Now, would that do such a thing? Yeah. I, 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 actually, I, I, I do. You see, I've got the one, the two, the three, the four oh, aces, and just the really one, the two, good. the four cards. Because the jack of what was it? The jack of what? Space. What is it? It's actually the one I keep inside my wallet. Nah. So what Strange. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. So, so, that's my wee introduction. I'm going to try something a wee bit different. Uh, and this is a trick that there are not many magicians do. Uh, I'm going to try this. Uh, you're, you're going to be good at this. So I'm going to come round here. Yeah. I knew that. I didn't, I didn't hear something going to say that at all. I'm just going to clear a wee bit of space. I'm going to get you to just 
have a car, anyone you want, and short round make sure the camera sees it. Can you stop me once again somewhere near the middle? Say stop at the middle, Randy. Stop. 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 stop in the middle. Yeah. Stop. Can you pop it in at that point? That's absolutely perfect. Now, I'm going to mix the cards up here, but I'm going to do something a wee bit unusual. Um, I'm going to mix the cards up in a kind of unusual way. I'm going to take some cards face up, some cards face down, some cards face up, some cards face down. I'm going to go through the whole pack like this so that you might see your card go back. I don't know if it's, it's if your card is face up or if it's face down. I'm just going to have a change in a good few cards. I love this to be done. Okay. Now, as I say, you might have seen your card in the past. There's cards that are face down. We've got cards that are face up, the back to back, the face to face, the face to back. I'm going to come out. I guess, I'm going to try something anyway. Um, the easy way to find your card would be if I was to take the cards like this, give them a little shake, and then all the cards are now facing the same direction. I know you don't believe me, but you see that every single card now is now facing the same direction. Every single one. Even though you see me mix up face up and face down, every single one, all except for one card, and one card only. And if that happens to be your card, he's about to go well with applause. That's the deal. Hey! So that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's quite an old trick. I'm going to try a new trick. Uh, this is one that, this is, actually, I don't know if I have this. I do. I do. inside the plastic sleeve and you can see right through it and you can feel this plastic there and this plastic on the other side and it prevents me from touching the card when it's inside the plastic sleeve so it kind of isolates the card. I'll come back to this in a minute. Um, also I want to point out that all the cards are all different. There's no duplicates or anything like that. Okay? All the back cards. Yeah, you come and join us, do So, uh, can you help me? What's your name? Thomas. I don't have to do this. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I need to just grab a card. Top of the ball. Maybe one. Not that one. And you're right. Perfect. That's fine. Right. And can you see the word stop? Stop. stop. Is this the one where you just put <laughs> your name on the You put your card back on. You're <laughs> shooting the door. Can you give the cards a good shuffle? She was well lost in the net. That's the best shuffle ever. <laughs> well, I suppose I'm going to have to help you here. <laughs> I think if I find the card, no, it's a play. <laughs> it was a miracle. You've all seen the card, have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just carefully, carefully. I'm just clearing these up. I'll have to run them through the dry cleaners. That, that was a good trouble, In any case, thankfully, I'm... Uh, I'm going to find your card anyway. I'm going to try something else. Well, I'm going to try something. I've got a notepad. You can check it out. It's a normal notepad.
track sneaker. Oh, that. Oh, that's
card and that's the so if I have to, to get your card, I'm gonna pretend I'm into it obviously and uh, take full credit on it. But uh, I'm just gonna take one here and if this happens to be your card, you can start the game and have another card. Okay, so six of hearts. Is the six of hearts your card? Is she being honest with me? The six of hearts are Right. I'm going to use the six of hearts. I'm going to place the six of hearts and say. Oh yeah, I'll like this clip. Please don't play this game. You see the card there, right? Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to take the card and I'm going to place the card face up in your hands. Okay. Did y'all see the card through there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to place the card here. Can I get you to announce what the card was that you had yeah, chosen? It was the two of hearts. Two of hearts. If I snap, you'll see it. Yeah, so ten seconds. Uh, it's now the two of hearts. Thank you. Weird thing, can you remember the card that was inside here? The six of hearts. Six of hearts. Do you want to try it? We've got one coming up. Here. Do you know what I'm like that? If, you, if I spin through the cards, you'll see that all the cards are facing one direction, all except for one card. And if that's the six of hearts, it's going to go well with applause. Thank you very much. Okay, I've got, I've got a couple more routines and then we're going to have to move on, guys. And I need to tomorrow some money for this one. Uh, I've got ten pence. Ten pence is Can you get a ten pence that you like? Can I get you to put your initials on the side of the coin? I don't really know what people do with it. Just write a message. Thank you. Don't draw any red drawings. Right, right, yeah. I was going to think, don't touch my money. I think I used to do points. You've got to do such a thing. Okay. You see that? Okay, Thomas. 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 Ok
I've not done this in about three months now, so I'm feeling kind of uh, out of rhythm. So, I see me and him. It's, uh, it's really warm. Uh, as I say, I've done quite a uh, few tables now, just getting set up and ready to go. Kids are quite, uh, quite difficult to manage, but uh, I've got the nest of boxes. Knockout! How's it going? Yeah, I have a shirt. I was, uh, as I was, as I was saying, the ends up in my wee bit out of rhythm. I don't feel as I'm as stuck as I should be or you know. Maybe just no done it for a while. Or... Can't check the world. This is fast. Pay attention. <laughs> I've got four jokers. Joker goes there. A joker goes there. I take these two jokers and I wobble them. And right away, one changes to a ten. The second changes to a ten. Three, four. Voila.
boxes, see the match boxes, separate the metal unit, jam my finger in between. And this really should be happening. <laughs> so now we are pushing in. So they can get the push down and get them. It's a bit weird. Don't tell them how we did it, okay? So that's my wee introduction. I know it's a bit silly. Strange. This time, this is one here. 